so what are we doing right now head to the burnt building hmm? there's a fire on tenkaichi street not to mention someone got killed better go check it out oh this might be mikiko mikiko's doing We did learn that she's kind of on a revenge murder spree. I can't go this way. Guess we're gonna have to fight these guys after all. Hey, oh, I thought there were only two guys. Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna try to go fast today. Got a little workout in at least. Alright, let's way. go, Kaito. Also, I wanna see how this I really wanna see how this is gonna end. Coming through. What's the last thing that happened when you were here, um, Doom? Maybe somebody could give him a quick recap of what he missed, story-wise. Don't go picking fights you can't win. Oh, you did see the most recent events. Okay. just on babysitting duty the whole time is this not where I'm supposed to go oh. that was close where's the woman we can get around her from up here hey you blockheads are crimson lotus right Shit, it's that guy from the doctors. Sorry, but your little plan's getting shut down. Yeah, and I'm in a rush, so you better watch out. Nope. Don't come between Kaito and his the love of his life. That was a bop. Didn't get to hear that for much for a long though. Mickey goes on the roof, and this is my only way up. Go. Wait, are there any um? Healing items around. No. Okay. Go. Oh, I missed. Go. Go. There's so many stairs. Can I punch my way through? No. sounding music safety belt I don't think I'm wearing any kind of belt oh it's a uh, attack plus five percent
sounds pretty good. Well, I could put on my binding. Huh? Who the hell are you? They're already here. Into the line, punk. Oh god. Don't go picking fights you can't win. Guns, no good. Let's grab this item here real quick first. Extinguisher protector. Ooh, that might come in handy. Reduces burn duration by 50%. Uh, it's a bit too specialized for my taste. Well, we are going into like a fire, so maybe... <laughs> maybe it would be a good idea. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Mikiko's just up ahead. God damn it! I can't tell what's going on from here! Get out of my way, asshole! Hey, that's my line! Yeah. That's Kaido's line. Come on. Need a bulletproof vest here. Got a little work out here, please. Hold it right there. Check out this guy's outfit. Of this shit. Just fuck off already. my HP. That gun did that much damage? No! Oh, fuck. You all have freaking guns! Now, Chuck, where are the others in Crimson Lotus? Uh, I don't know. After I cut my ties with them, I lost track of all the guys in that gang. The fact that I'm even here is just a coincidence. You're a liar! Uh, hey, where's that backup? If they don't get here soon, then Nishimura's dead! <laughs> Mikiko! Tell me why, Michiko. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! 
They burned them alive! What? Are you sure? I thought Maho Chan's stalker was behind them. That's just the lies they told me! They're the ones who really killed them! Unbelievable. I think we should talk about this late, like, in a better Asaki place and a better time. Damn you! <laughs> Die! Um. Oh, okay. That's not good, but it could have been worse. That's a lot of guns. the sweet reunion we would have hoped for, huh? Oof. Oh, he's up. Wait, where's Mikiko? What happened after I went down? Well, the owner of that security company got shot to death on the roof. His name was Ashizaki. His office was burning up too. You think it's the killer's work? Not sure. I can't find those details anywhere. Gotcha. Oh, and to top it off, Nishimura, a man who was visiting Ashizaki last night, was found dead in an alley this morning. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! No! They burned them alive! Mikiko, was that you too? Uh, by the way, Kaito, the police came by earlier. Uh, they said to contact them once you're up. I think they wanted to question you. Uh. Just what I needed. You'll live. That bullet only grazed your shoulder. And by some miracle, your bones are still intact. The doctor was amazed you're still alive. Said that fall would have at the very least paralyzed anyone else. Hmm. Well, I say it's time to get back out of here. He's like, I feel the fine. Kaito son. <laughs> Lying around on my ass won't get me closer to Mikiko. Plus, I'd rather not deal with let me go with you. All right. Kaito-san, take a look at this before you go. What's all this? Profiles on the four victims murdered in Kamurocho. I put them together last night after a bit of research. Oh, nice work. In summary, all the victims seem to be ordinary people. But that may only be on the surface. According to the rumors on the internet, of which I unearthed a substantial number, many of the victims had rather suspicious backgrounds. Some may have even changed their names. Sounds about right for one of these little thug groups. Unlike the Yakuza, they don't have a family to answer to. Take that blue-haired dipshit from before. He acts like he's in some college club without a care in the world. So it seems. Here's another interesting tidbit. Some of the victims had a fighting record, meaning they competed in underground tournaments. But each one was found successfully subdued, even showing signs of force consistent with interrogation. Mikiko did always know how to handle herself. Yeah, she kept it up with the workouts and the kickboxing, even after Dad came into the picture. She could totally take some thug one-on-one. -on -one. Mom's tough as nails. 
Hot damn. Anyway, what's our next move? Right. We should probably go investigate the crime scene. What crime scene would that be? Where the murder took place last night. Might be some clues left to find. I see. Though I imagine the scene's still quite busy. Will the police really allow you on site? Oh, I'm hoping to avoid the cops altogether. I'm gonna sneak into the place. Ah, well, I suppose that's one way to do it. Please, no stealth. Catch you later, then. Mind serving as our alibi while we're over there? I'll give the police a good answer. Just... Make sure you find Mikiko-san, and keep her from dirtying her hands. She seems pretty determined. June! And... Kaito-san? What is this? Ugh, crap. Oh, don't worry. We can explain. But, uh, what brings you here, of all places? Well, one of my police contacts got in touch. Said a boy here matched June's description. Ah. Uh. Well, June, what do you have to say for yourself after you go wandering off for days on end? Yeah, like you even give a shit. Just go back home by yourself. June, can we just... <sighs> Never mind. Actually, you and I might want to have a talk, Sadamoto-san. It's about June and me. What's going on with Mikiko? Well, I'll just put it out there. Turns out your wife's still alive. She's alive? My Mikiko? Where is she? Is she alright? Alright's not exactly how I put it. It's pretty complicated to explain. She's a serial killer. Complicated? To think all that was happening. And Mikiko, possibly a murderer? I know she's out for some kind of revenge. She's aware it was really Crimson Lotus who burned her family alive. I see. That's very difficult to process. We had always believed it was Maho Chan's stalker that did it. Yet now some sinister group emerges. Kaito san. Does Mikiko really believe Crimson Lotus orchestrated this stalker story or whatever? That's what she said. It's likely the stalker got pinned as a scapegoat for the whole thing. Now, can you give me anything on your end? How's Crimson Lotus fit into all this? Nothing's making any sense so far. It couldn't be. What? What's wrong? To tell you the truth. This may have been set into motion even before the arson. You see, Mikiko's family had been under pressure from a certain real estate broker to unload their property. As I recall, that broker was flush with foreign capital and seeking land for a sizable new complex. Mikiko's parents stood to profit quite substantially were they to take the offer. But I was told they rejected whatever came their way. This went on for quite some time. And then, the tragedy happened. Got it. Ew. So Crimson Lotus really was behind it all. Mikiko's parents had to die because of some land deal? Yes. Although a group like that may have planned to kill them all along. Anyhow, once Mikiko's family was gone, their land was inherited by a distant relative. And since they wanted nothing to do with any stigmatized property, they sold it to the broker in the end. So maybe Mikiko got too close to the truth. And it nearly killed her. Yeah. That ought to explain it. Then, if that is the case, then Mikiko's in the right. If I knew who killed my family, why, I'd hunt them down myself. Taking lives of innocent people, all for profit. What monsters! He's not wrong about that. Sadamoto-san, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. It's about June's biological dad. 
I know. He thinks you're his real dad, right? Or at least, he hopes you are. Uh, how'd you know? Well, June and I got into an argument once. And he said as much to me at the time. <sighs> Sorry to hear that. And... I'll make no mistake. June is definitely my son. Yeah, I believe you. Deep down... I'm sure June understands that as well. Are you this sure? fantasy he spun up to feel better? Symptoms of a typical teenager. You sure he knows what's what? I am. This is nothing but a phase he's going through. I think it was right around elementary school when it started. He began stealing away Mikiko's diary, reading it over and over in secret. And you, the Yakuza with a heart of gold, were his favorite character. Right. June told me that himself. It's because I let work take priority. Even when June was little, I never spent the time with him I should have. And whenever the stress from work got to my head, well, let's just say I reacted poorly, even to a child seeking daddy's attention. So I fully understand why he latched on to Mikiko's writings. It's nothing I'm surprised or jealous about. The boy needs an actual father figure. Are you that sure said, it's not I hope you'll of... forgive me for letting him believe what he wants, at least for now. Of course, it's pathetic for me to be saying that. Uh, shoot, it's from one of the board members. I don't mind going after your son, Sadamonosan. And when I find him, I'll send him on home. But you're gonna need to set him straight. Excuse me. Yes, this is Sadamoto. Right. Thank you for your help with that contract. And <sighs> once again, just write to his job. Send me an invoice for your expenses. I'll cover them. Yes, that sounds excellent. Although there's one small issue. But I mean, we should get get on that, like, money See thing, though. Shit. It's always the same. Who'd want a stuffed shirt for a dad? Don't say that. He's a busy guy. Well, now that that asshole's gone, how about we get back on the case? All right. I, Next I think he looks like Kaito. <laughs> that murder scene in Tenkaichi Alley. What are we gonna do if the cops see us? If it happens, it happens. Let's move. Okay. Well, we'll see. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. All right. Please okay. Um, okay, so now we're going to go back to the scene of the crime. See if we can find something out. Find some clues. Well, that way sure isn't going to work. I should check the other side. <laughs> ah. No good. Knee deep in cops. Can we get around them? Only if we... Make that I sneak in. June, you wait out here. Any Bato guys show up, just shout for the cops and they'll scatter. Right on. Good luck. Careful now. We gotta do this right the first time. How do we get past these guys? Two cops, huh? Not going this way. Act, catch. 
casual. We can uh, stealth take down this guy. Nope. I hate how inconsistent these sections are. At least I don't have to start it from the very beginning. Sometimes you can just go up behind them and take them out. Other times you can't. It's just on the whim of the game. I'm gonna go. I guess if we want to keep going upstairs, we'll probably want to go this way anyways. Did that door just close? Probably should have just gone and followed him. Now I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, I can't stealth them because they're cops? Oh, I had no idea. There isn't a patrolling, a guy patrolling this place. Go, go, go. Stealth complete. Music to my ears. place got torched pretty bad. Hopefully I can still find some sort of clue. I'll just have to look extra carefully. Okay, let's do our sniffer first. This right here. There's a burning smell here. Is this it? This right here. Well, wouldn't you know? Here. There's a burning smell everywhere. Oh, what's this? Huh? Something smells like soy sauce. Is it hiding in a pocket, maybe? 
Ichiban rice crackers. It was Senbane here. No wonder it smells. Wait, there's more. A notebook? Four, one, three, six, two, five. What are these numbers? Guess I'll leave the notebook on the desk for now. Hmm. This right here. A computer, and it sounds like it's still buzzing. Where's the data for computers saved on again? The hard drive, right? Hope it still works, otherwise they had to call it a soft drive. <laughs> I'll just take this back with me. Burnt hard drive? Maybe it's Tsukumo could work his magic, see if he can pull anything off it. Ichiban Senbei is so good it can survive a fire. <laughs> Well, visually, this looks like a bunch of burnt stuff. <sighs> so we got the hard drive. We can look at the notebook Whatever again. 413625, okay. Is this it? Well, these papers are burnt to shit. Guess it wouldn't hurt to check them. Nope. Too burnt to read. Let's see. This right here. This is that booze hound Ken Mochi's card. Guess he's running a real estate racket in Kamurocho. What have we here? A key, nothing fancy, just the kind you'd use on a bike or a cheap desk lock. Hmm. Desk lock? Huh? Is this it? Chopsticks. Surprised they didn't burn up. This right here. There might be something in this drawer, but it's all warped and won't open. I'll see if there's anything I can use to open Is it. Is this it? What have we here? Chopsticks. Wonder if I can use these. I'll hang on to this. Huh? Let me give these chopsticks a try. Wait, what am I thinking? They're just going to snap. Forget it. Wait, at least try. Hmm. I'll just grab one of these many metal rods. I'm not seeing hmm. anything. Smelling anything. Hmm. Not hearing anything. You know, playing these games has just made Let's me see. realize that being a detective would not be my forte in real life. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I am really close to asking for help because we're supposed to be getting through this quickly and I'm looking for something and it's just not showing up. <sighs> I assume I'm looking for something to pry that open. I also have a some kind of code huh. and I have a key. It's like Is this it? What? Huh? How come I couldn't take the key before? Oh. Oh my god. But that's not gonna work. Ugh. Just gotta use this key to open it. Nothing gets past Detective Kaito. I thought the key wouldn't work because it's all Damned weird. What the hell? There's no lock. Then what's this key for? Now they think about it. The problem's that messed up drawer. A key ain't fixing that. Yeah, see? Hmm. 
Mm. That didn't help me. Huh. What have we Oh, here? the umbrella! Yoink! Man, I passed by that like so many times, I bet. If I can jam the handle of this umbrella in there and pull, I might be able to get it open. Let's give it a shot. Do it, do it, do it. Handle's too thick. Guess that plans out. Wait, what? Come on! No! I really thought I had it. What about one of these hangers? The hanger would probably work really well. Why don't you use the other side of the umbrella? The pointy side. Oh my god. This right here. Where's that? That disappeared. Mm. There's no way that's been there this whole time. Is just no way. It? There was just a crowbar lying here this whole time? Might be able to use this crowbar to open that warped door. Ridiculous. Okay, you're coming with me. Open this damn thing. This should work. Let's give it a shot. Laptop. Hell yeah. Now let's take a peek at what's in here. Huh? A tablet. Might have some info on it. How about we take a peek? Wants a password. Or... Something. 413625. Four one three six two five. <coughs> Hell yeah, I'm in. Huh? The one in the middle is that Ken Mochi guy, right? The file name's Rizome Group Homies O two. These girls don't seem to be having such a great time. Did, you, did the pricks pick them up from a club or something? Oh, pretty sure I recognize these guys. Is it them? Oh, right. The profiles Shirakaba gave me on the victims. These guys look like they fit the bill. So four of the people in the photos already got killed. The blue-haired goof in Crimson Lotus said it was the group's senpais who were getting killed. Is Rizome some sort of college club? What's it got to do with the Crimson Lotus? Maybe these guys went ahead and started Crimson Lotus after graduating? If that's the case, all the victims aren't just Crimson Lotus members. They're ex-Rizome, too. And Mochi fits the description too, meaning we've got our next lead. Now that I know where Ken Mochi's office is, it's time to stake it out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten guys? She's trying to kill ten guys? A lot. As far as who the next target might be, the only lead I've got is Ken Mochi. His office address is on his business card. Guess I'll go stake it out.
What's going on here? What are you doing? Not Checkmate. son. What? That's impossible. How'd you do that? Easy. I thought you said you won your precincts tournament. Yeah, and lost to a prodigy. What showy club are you with, kid? None. Never even had lessons. I guess I'm just a natural at it. Yo. Kaito, what's up? Imagine losing what to someone who's to? never. <laughs> just stomping a cop at Shogi? That sort of thing. Well, time to stomp on elsewhere. We got us a lead. Oh, yeah? Where to? Wherever we gotta be. Oh. Okay, then. It's confidential. Right, I gotta talk to Tsukumo about that hard drive first. Hi, how can I be of service? Tsukumo, you're good with computers, right? Think you can handle pulling some data from a burnt up hard drive? Hmm, it all depends on its condition, but it's certainly not impossible. Well, mind taking a look? And make it quick if you can. Sure, not a problem. But I have to ask, what sort of case did you find yourself in this time? Right, about that. I should probably fill you in. Got a feeling I'll be asking more favors. Here's the deal. Fast forward. I see. So a group of inconspicuous thugs murders a rich family to gain access to their fortune. That's quite a story. Well, let's start with analyzing that hard drive. I've sent a motorcycle courier to your location. Figured it'd be faster to pick it up that way. Once I get my hands on it, I'll tell you what I find. Good shit. Thanks for the assist. Motorcycle courier? Bye. All right. Now, let's go have us a stakeout. With any luck, your mom will show her. Look, a live stakeout. I've seen that on detective shows before. They get boring after a while. Well, if that's your attitude, you could just hang back at the office. No, I'm going to. Will there be um steaks at going? this stakeout? Uh, fine, I will fight. We have a thing with. Wait, wait, wait. How do we do it again? Here we go. Press triangle while Kaito is knocked down. Can only be used once per fight while June is falling Kaito. Knock me. Wait, June! Where are you going? Kaito! We're in the ground. Nice. Nice work. Hell yeah. Like father, like son? Eh? Eh? I mean, he think that other guy thinks June is his son. Of course he thinks he is. That doesn't make it true. Right? Some kind of Got a little workout in at least. We're both in disguises. Hey, aren't people gonna think we look weird? Huh? Oh, I figured we look like father and son coming home from a ball game. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hey, there he is. Looks like he just clocked in. So you really think my mom's gonna show? I wouldn't hold my breath, but it's possible. After all, Kenmochi's next on her hit list. Guess we'll be stuck here for a while then. Do we know he's next, or...? I thought this was just the only other one we could identify. 
Nothing so far. Let me see your lighter. Huh? <laughs> Who would have thought we smoked the same brand? Yo, didn't I already tell you you're too young? Knock that shit off. Man. I thought you were Come cool. On. Let's change up locations. What for? Might raise some eyebrows if we stay in one spot too long. We gotta change our clothes, too. Looks like he's going out, and he's with a lady? All right. Let's tail him. If Mikiko's going after Kimochi, she'd probably wait till he was alone to show up. It's gonna be a while, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, that wasn't too bad. Crap, did I get too close? I, I didn't fail, did I? Or was that scripted? Remember that old geezer oh, okay, I told good. you about? The stubborn one, living alone, who wouldn't leave. Oh yeah, what about him? He's got this dog he loves like his own grandkid, right? So I snatched the little thing up. Aw, that's so mean. Oh, it gets better. After that, I gave the old fart a hot dog. And when he wolfed the thing down, I told him it was dog meat. <laughs> Got him so spooked, he puked. <laughs> yeah, the girls are going to love that story. Wow, shoot, John. You're terrible. Please tell me that dog's still alive. Of course he is. He's with Nishio right now. <laughs> Guy loves pets. We'll give him back once the old geezer falls in line. I don't think he noticed me. Still gotta stay sharp, though. Oh, we're not done with this shit? Okay. <sighs> June, where are you? I lost the kid. Maybe his disguise is so good, I can't even tell where he is. Tom. Anyway, Nishio tells me he's discovered the magic of blind dates. <laughs> or any bastard must be pretty desperate. He's the one who goes to all those men's salons, right? Yeah, not that it does him any good. He'll be a dirty rat dog till the day he dies and all the ladies know it. I tell him it's his mind, not his looks that needs polish. Ought to take that boy on a spiritual retreat or something. Oh, what if he has some kind of revelation? Can he still be in your gang? Oh, come on! Gang's just a figure of speech. We don't do any bad stuff, the haters say. Yeah, We're you don't try to murder women. Friends. You know we even donate to charity. Do you? I'm impressed. Ugh. Blech. Can't you tell she hates it? Hmm? Oh, gosh. Huh? Stay out of this, kid. I said get away! He's at it again. Give me a freaking break. I love this kid. You goddamn brat. Go on. You should get out of here. Thank you. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Hold on. You got a problem with him. 
but you've got to go through me. The hell? Was dad or something? Maybe You're I both am. Gonna get a lesson together. But we're getting less and less sure of that <laughs> as time goes on. Adopt him, even if we're not blood related, I'll, I'll adopt him. Damn it. I won't forget this. That's great. Okay. Well, now we lost our Sorry. tails. I know we should be going after Kenmochi. True. But you made the right call. So don't sweat it. Oh. Okay. Anyway, Kenmochi shouldn't be too far. Let's hurry up and find him. Yeah. Did we lose him completely? Nope. There. Found him. Ooh, remember Ashizaki, the guy who died? He had his little fella pierced. You think they take it out before cremation? Oh, um, wouldn't they normally? But I mean, even a funeral director wouldn't peek down behind his nuggets. So, maybe no one noticed. His <laughs> nuggets? Yeah! His dumplings! You know what I mean, don't you? Um, his earlobes? You're using some kind of Hosaka slang, right? <laughs> For real? Now you're just being abstruse. Abstruse? Uh, never mind. I forget there's an age gap between us. Still got much to learn. <laughs> this guy. And mochi, you bastard, making us follow you around and shit. Yeah. What the hell? What's wrong with you? Why'd they put such a long tailing mission in this DLC? Please tell me this is the end of it. That was weird. He was super quiet at Pain first. Yes. I don't have time for this. But screw it. Let's get this over with. Shumrai, just because my name is Bunny Tails doesn't mean I want to tail every person forever. Okay? <laughs> people Let's hurry and find Kenmochi. Hey, you know, Crimson Lotus used to be just nine of us in college. And now look where we are. 
It really is amazing, Shu-chan. I'm sure it's your personality that attracted all those people. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Not to mention, we do things on the level. No bosses, no grunts, just one big happy family. We all got nicknames, too. No sons or sirs allowed. That formality shit makes me sick. Ooh, you're so egalitarian. Eh, hey, I wouldn't exactly call us eagles. We're more like a wolf pack. We're all real tight, you know? We help each other out when we're in need. And if you mess with us, we all come get you. Anybody even giving us the stink eye gets their face rearranged by the boys. Oh, uh, and you're free to join or leave whenever. Our policy's not to tie you down. Do you still keep in touch with those who leave? Absolutely. That's why we gotta take out the lady who's been killing off our old buddies. We ought to cut off her skin and feed it to some dogs. It'll make for a real good time. Shuchan, that's so wild. You really are a true friend. Yeah, some of these guys aren't even affiliated anymore, but I wonder if all of them were involved in the fire or not. Maybe she's just trying to be thorough. That's not sneaky. I wanted to hide behind it, not... <laughs> not jump over it like that. Well, I really thought we were going to finish this DLC tonight, but I had no idea we were going to spend half an hour <laughs> tailing these two. complete yes <laughs> guess they're looking to shack up for the night hey, where are they going uh nowhere you should worry about huh isn't that what's up i knew it that's mom you sure yeah i bet she was tailing ken mochi Oh, and she has someone with her, and they were Shit. ready for her. her up. What? That bastard got himself tailed on purpose to lure her out. Let's go! Mickey Kosa! Who's the guy? Damn it! What do we do? No time to waste. I'm busting in. Wait a minute! What about me? Just head back to the office. Shit's about to get ugly. Yeah, you might pass yeah. out. All right. Just get mom back safe, okay? Let's do it. Yo. It's Sender, right? With the Bato boys? Kaito, what are you doing here? You were with Mikiko earlier. Him? What the hell for? I tried protecting her. It's what a detective would do. Please don't tell me. Mikiko's your client? Yeah, she is. Save the details for later. Where is she now? <sighs> Upstairs. This entire hotel is Crimson Lotus turf. There's nowhere to run. Like I'd ever do that. I'm sorry I couldn't save her, Kaito. Please, get her the hell out of here. Not like you had to ask. That's right. Guess I shouldn't overstay my welcome. I feel like there's gonna be plenty of things to items 
to pick up to use his weapons. So I think we can get through pretty quickly. Can I go inside some of these? No. It looks like I can. There's a green door on the mini map. My inventory is full. at the top floor the rest you'll have to figure out we'll finish this section up and then we'll take a break okay hello young happy friday to you too we're about to whoop some ass Mikiko should be in here and probably Kenmochi too. Am I ready for this? Yes! I'm ready! Hey. What? Put some clothes on! You made Kenmochi, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, you mad? Sure took your sweet time for someone claiming to be a fucking bodyguard. Huh? Bodyguards are only worth what they're protecting. But you, you ain't worth shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy's ripped. Catch. It's a nice little game of catch, huh? Maybe we shouldn't have given that to him. God. Choke him, smash him, nailing him right in the junk. No holds barred. Breaking their bones, smearing each other's blood on the goddamn mat. It's all coming back. My days chasing glory and spilling guts in the underground. Can you feel the adrenaline? Then show me what you got, Kaijo! Bastard. I'll make you pay. 
okay. I'm afraid of him. Life. He's scary. Here we go. I guess I messed up one, so I messed them all up, huh? Okay. It's no big deal, though. We got him. Is he going to just... Hey! <gasps> what the... I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I never meant to kill anybody. What the fuck are you saying? Nobody was supposed to be home. He said they were on vacation. But then... I burned them alive. Shit. And then... The barf comes out. <laughs> Has this guy been messed up in the head ever since? Like, Nico. don't worry, I ain't laid a finger on her. Huh? <laughs> you fell for. Those Just a prank, bro. Ape shit. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> Nearly 
made me forget all the pain. Come on, take another shot. Make it go away. This guy needs professional help. Please, I can't take it. I don't want to hurt anymore. Kenmochi, I hope you hurt till the day you die. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Mikiko. You're safe now. <sighs> we did it. We did it! We finished that chapter. Okay, let's take a break. And then we will start the final chapter of the Kaito Files. Yay! Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs>